What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I am bringing you a JTAG slash RGH tutorial on how to install Xbox Live Neighborhood. Now I've had a few requests on Skype and a lot of people asking me, um, can you send me the link to download it, can you make a video, etc, etc. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to make a video um, and I've, ac I've got access to a new version of the SDK which is uh, Xbox Live Neighborhood. So I'm going to install that and make a video for you guys. So if you already have Neighborhood, you can simply uninstall uh, the previous version by going to Program and Features, depending on which Windows operating system you're using, and just right click and uninstall it. Um, that's what I had to do because obviously I was on a previous version. But if you are fresh and you've just purchased your JTAG and you have, um, you know, you don't have Neighborhood and you're looking to install it, I'm going to show you how to do so. So in the links, uh, the link descriptions below, excuse me, um, you will see Xbox 360 SDK 21256.3. That is, from what I know, the latest version of the SDK. It is 1.42 gigs, and you will see another download link for XBDM uh, XCX plugin, which allows it to connect. So you're going to need to download the SDK and the plugin. Again, the links are in the description below. So once you have downloaded them, you're going to want to install Neighborhood, so double click on it, hit yes. And you'll be prompted with a installation wizard, we're going to hit next. Um, you can read this if you wish to, it just basically tells you how it works and uh, you know just pretty much everything about it. Um, this You can change this if you want, this is the location of where it's saved, of where all the files are stored. I like to leave it um, in its default location which is in program files. Um, if you wish to change it you can browse and choose a different directory. Hit next. Leave it on minimum installation, hit next and let it install. So this may take a few minutes depending on how fast and how good of a computer you have. It shouldn't take too long, um, but again there are quite a few files in its uh, installation. So let it install and I'll come back to you once it has. Okay guys, so as you can see the installation wizard has just finished. It recommends that you restart your computer. Um, I do actually recommend doing that because I don't think you'll be able to connect once you put the plugging on and everything. So if you want to go ahead and do that um, and come back to the rest of the video, uh, be sure to do that. If you don't then uh, you can try rebooting later and uh, yeah, hopefully it will connect for you guys. So this will pop up this is just basically rele release notes and uh, it just tells you you know random stuff we don't need that so we're going to exit that um, and as you can see we have a new a desktop icon you can put this pretty much anywhere you want um, i don't think you can pin oh you can pin it to the start bar but you can't pin it to the task bar which is a shame but i usually just leave it on my desktop anyway so before we go ahead and open that we're not going to be able to connect because you're going to need this plugin uh, you know, in the root of your hard drive to be able to connect to Xbox Live Neighborhood. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do that, but you're going to need to get a USB stick, uh, preferably two gigs and up, and plug it into your computer. Uh, make sure that there's nothing on there before you format it, because if there is, then you're going to lose it, obviously. So just format it, do a quick format, so we know that we're, you know, fresh with putting the plugin on. So it's formatted and we're going to go over to the USB stick and simply drag and drop the plugin in there. It's only 52 kilobytes, so it's literally nothing. Um, and once we've done that, we're going to eject it. And uh, you want to plug it into your JTAG or RGH and head over to the Xbox. Okay guys, once you are at your JTAG or RGH, you're going to want to go into XCX menu. Hopefully you should have that by now. Launch XCX menu, wait for it to load obviously, and uh, we're going to be launching Freestyle Dash um, just so you can copy the plugin over to your hard drive. So press LB, LB again, go over to Freestyle Dash for me, it's in Homebrew folder, and simply launch Freestyle Dash. Okay, guys, so once you are in Freestyle Dash, you're going to want to find the file manager. Now, your skin might look a little bit different to mine because you know I've customized it. Uh, go over to the right section, go to USB 0 and you can see the plug in there. So then you're going to go onto the left panel, go to HDD 1 and this is where, this is basically the root of your hard drive. So we're going to go over to the XBDM plugin, uh, hold LB and press X which will move it over to the hard drive. Press OK and if you go ahead and look in the root of your hard drive you'll see 
the xbdm.exec plugin. Now that's basically on there forever unless you delete it. So now what we're going to do is go back into file manager, go to hdd1, go to your dash launch folder which is in homebrew for me and launch dash launch. Okay, once you're in dash launch you're going to want to go into the plugins tab and you shouldn't see, uh, you know, you should see available space which isn't used. Hopefully if you are using too many plugins then you're going to need to delete one because you're not going to be able to uh, use neighborhood without this plugin. So you're going to press A, you're going to go onto your hard drive which is HDD and find the xbdm.xex plugin which again is 52 kilobytes. Press A on it and we're not done yet because we're going to need to save this so we're going to press RB go over to the HDD which has got a little green you know pencil there press X to save the settings and press A to load the settings once you've done that press B and this will exit out of dash launch and bring you back to the dashboard now once you've done this you're going to need to reboot your console so turn it off turn it back on and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do that and I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, so once your console has rebooted, you can now open Xbox Live Neighborhood and you'll see this. This is to add your console. So basically on your JTAG or RGH, you're going to want to go into settings, hit system, go down to network settings, wired if you're wired. If you're wireless, you can actually type in JTAG and it should connect. I'm not entirely sure if that 100% works. So you can essentially just find the IP address, the local IP address by going into here. So configure network and you can see that the IP address ends in 86. So we're going to double click this, hit next and type in that IP address. So for me it's 192.168.137.86 uh, and it's going to say would you like to use this as the default development kit? You're going to hit yes, hit next and hit finish. I'm going to hit refresh here and you can see that we now have our JTAG connected to neighborhood and we can go in here and do different things, access the USB if you want to um, and the hard drive. You can launch your games, you can set plugins, you can change lots of different things but I'm not going to go into this because this is, uh, you know, this is pretty self-explanatory. If I go into my games folder, go to advanced warfare or any game, uh, type in DE which will bring up uh, the default MPXX which is the obviously the multiplayer uh, plugin to launch you can right click and click launch or just double click on it and it will launch the game so there's lots of different things you can do um, but I'll leave that for you to experiment with um, so that's pretty much it guys I hope I've helped again the description in the description the links are there and you can download them if you need any help then feel free to add me on Skype Comment on any questions and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I will see you guys next time. Peace.